Now I will demonstrate uh, what will happen if uh, you put too much weight on top. And with too much weight, well, uh, with too much weight high, it, uh, this can happen. Uh, the boat will list to, to one side. And uh, this is a condition we call lull. Uh, it is often confused with uh, the situation where you have weights uh, in one side only and uh, the fishermen will often try to correct this by moving weights from one side to another but uh, that will not uh, change the situation in this place because this list is not caused by weight in one side it is caused by weights that are placed too high or too much weight on the top. You will see when, when I heal the vessel to the other side without moving weights, it, it will uh, li have the same list to the other side. So what can really happen is that if you try to move, move some weights from the one side to another, is that the, the boat can capsize. So the, 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 the correct way to solve this problem is to move weights from high to low. And you can see now that uh, just by moving the weights from top, uh, from the deck to the bottom, uh, the, the, the vessel is again upright. Well, here we have a, a model that is uh, used for uh, the demonstration of stability of vessels. And uh, I am going to show you um, some, some items that are important uh, with regard to stability. First, I would like to put some weights in the bottom of the boat. And uh, by putting the weights in the bottom of the boat, its rolling period will be short. Uh, as we call it, the, the, the boat is stiff. It has, uh, it has good stability. When I move these weights uh, to the deck or, or higher, the boats become what we call tender. Its rolling period will be longer and uh, the, its stability is reduced. And if I put more weights high, it will be reduced further, as you can see. The rolling period is very long, the boat is tender, and uh, and this can be dangerous on a, on, on a vessel. Uh, I would like to demonstrate uh, uh, what happens when, when uh, a weight is lifted by the boom. It's what we call subs, uh, suspended weight. Well, when the weight is uh, on, on the deck, you see that uh, the vessel is still stable. It has a bit longer running period. But uh, if, I, if I lift this weight just by a few, few millimeters,
the center of gravity for this weight will not be here, but uh, it will uh, it will go to the end of the boom. So you see what happens. The 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 stability of the vessel is greatly reduced. Just by putting the weight back again here, you see, it is stable again, although the stability is not, not that great. Another thing I would like to demonstrate is the free surface effect. And uh, by doing that, We'll put some water in, in the tank here. As you can see, uh, this is a white tank which has been uh, divided into two, meaning uh, that uh, we have reduced the effect of the free surface. The vessel is still stable, but if I remove this center bulkhead, so we have one white tank, then you will see what happens. The vessel becomes very unstable. And uh, this free surface effect can take place not only in tanks, but also on the deck when the freeing ports are not, are not uh, big enough to make sure that uh, the, the water uh, on, that is trapped on deck doesn't uh, uh, remove quickly.